Hello guys, how's everybody doing today? Good to see all of you here. So, question I got here is basic form that this person is asking. Mark, what is the most significant way to increase my ability to manifest what I want? What I want. What do you want, right? So, manifesting guys, as you know, if you find this video, it's video found you, so you're definitely on that realm. Manifesting, you have to know it's something that we do automatically. It's a some kind it's a subconscious thing, right? We can observe, we can either deliberately manifest or we can indirectly manifest. That means we can be we can consciously or unconsciously create automatic or default manifest. But here's something I want you to consider and think about this, and this will help you. Now, the way the way our brain works, right? Our brains, if something is comfortable to us, if something is familiar to us, our brains work more efficiently because it feels at, it feels safer, you'll get more done that way. But if something is out of whack, out of alignment, our brain gets anxiety and we get anxious. So when it comes to manifesting what you want, you have to get your brain into a state of continuous exposure to the thing you want. So that means you have to be able to set up rituals, routines for manifesting. And that takes me to the big picture that I want to talk to you about. One of the most powerful places that you can set up for manifesting power is your home. If you have your room or your house set up in a certain way, you will actually increase your ability to manifest more and more. Think about that. Most of us spend our, most of our time we're at home. When you get home, you're more relaxed, you're more at ease. But also, there's some things that are in your home right now that are also creating resistance for you to manifest what you want. That's right. Your lovely home you go into, you have no idea that a lot of things that are going on in your own house is actually preventing or hindering you from your brain to get you success. Did you know that? All right, so let's talk about some of the things that is affecting your home, in your own house when you go home. And you know, my place of peace and tranquility. You go, my, man, my house is nice, I'm good. All right, so let's talk about this stuff, show you how it works. All right, remember now, whatever we are accustomed to the most, our brains will get locked into it and create a comfort zone. It means your brain don't want to get out of it, it wants to stay there. So let's say, if you want to, if you want to create more success in your life, bring more money, whatever it is you want in your life, you have to get your brain to buy into it. When I talk about the brain, I'm talking about the subconscious, subconscious talks. So the subconscious, brain, you got to do that. If your brain doesn't buy into it, it ain't gonna work. Your brain buys into stuff that you spend a lot of time with or around. Comfort zone, comfort zone, comfort zone. If you make something your comfort zone, your brain will create more of that to make it more comfort in a zone. See, comfort zone. So let me show you how you do this. You have to make your house a manifesting powerhouse, a ritual routine. And let me give you an example of how you do this. If you want to make more money, right? Manifest more money. Your house have to show you evidence of more money. How can I use my home to make evidence of money, Mark? How do I do this? I made tons of videos on this, but I'll say it again. Everything is in the subconscious. Your subconscious mind is very illogical. It does not know the difference from what is real or from what is imagined. So you can do two things. You can get fake money. You can throw it on your floor. You can get real money. You can place it on your floor. You can put dollars, quarters, anything, whatever currency you use, you put that on your floor, and then when you walk in your house, all the time in your house, your brain and your mind is constantly being exposed and attentive to money on the floor. That's a signal to your brain that this is comfort for us, this is normal for us. What that does now, it intrigues the subconscious mind to generate more opportunity, more instances where you'll have more money coming in. It's all about the brain and the subconscious. Okay, that's, number, that's the first thing you can do that will optimize your home to be a manifesting machine. 
So every time you go home, because we spend most of our time there. Next one. This is for my people. This is for my tribe out there who wants to manifest and win the lottery and anything like that. Just covering all this stuff. What you can also do is, I just do this. I do this a lot too. I would take the winning lottery tickets. Even if it says a free ticket. What it says, winner. I'd place these tickets on all my floor. Scratch up. I win. I fight. Whatever. Put it on the floor. Leave it on the floor. My brain sees that. My brain says, oh, you're a winner. These are, these seems unconventional, but this is just how your brain operates. And people, your logical mind will throw this away and say, oh, this makes no sense. This is a bunch of crap. Well, guess what? I got news for you. Your, it's not your logical mind that creates your world. You do realize that, right? It's your illogic. Check this out. Logic, illogic. You would think logic creates everything. You're wrong, my friend. Illogical world. Your world is created by 98% to your subconscious. Illogical. Okay? Got that. Now, you place these tickets there, you place these whatever scratch offs there, and your brain sees it, it says you're a winner. Oh, we're always winning. Remember, it's illogical. It'll put you in the place to get more of that if that's what you're focused on, okay? That's the second one. Here's the next thing you do sound. Sound, sound, sound is very important to the brain. Every day we're out there, we're inundated with all type of sounds. There's sounds that can make us feel relaxed. There's sounds that'll make us get tense. There's sounds that'll make us panic and worry. Hear a siren out there. Oh, you're on high alert. Hear a cool breeze. You're on low. You're so in your house, whenever you walk into your house, I always suggest this. Have some kind of sound playing. Either something that's relaxing, nature. You get these little sound generators, machines, just turn them down low. As walking, you hear waterfalls, you hear, you hear, even you can have subliminals playing when you get into your house. Anything that's just, just, just an ambient sound that makes you feel relaxed. When you have the sound, every time you go into your house, your brain will automatically now, because you're outside, you're coming home, you're in that beta state, you're in that high alert. When you get into your home, you know what it does? It lowers your brain waves. You start to enter the alpha state. That's the relaxing state. That's now the alpha leads to theta. When you get to the alpha state and you're in your home, now you're more relaxed and now your brain says, all right, what do we want to manifest? That's the next one. Next one to make your, your home a powerful manifesting machine. And people don't even understand this stuff. This, this, this is what I do. I'm, teaching it to you and you can go test it for yourself and you will see a results ah uh, next one do you have a manifestation course yeah I have, a, I have manifestation courses you can check my website my YouTube channel mark on but here's the next one guys smell how does your home smell smell is a okay let's talk about languages of the subconscious people don't understand how the subconscious you know what the most powerful languages are subconscious right here check this out Seeing, like vision, imagination, smelling, hearing, even tasting. Did you know that? Those are messages to the subconscious. Your subconscious. So talk about smell. Again, there are certain smells that can induce certain states into your life. Smells can make you feel happy. Smells can make you feel depressed or anxiety. Because what happens is when every, every smell how reality works, everything that comes into your eyes, your nose, your ears, they are particles. They're quantum particles. These particles, when they get into your senses, they convert into electrochemical senses, which translates to your brain, and your brain decodes them a certain way. They have, they, of course, they have, they, have money, they have money spray for money sense. You can get money, put money in your house, fresh dog, go to your bank, get a hundred dollars, get a hundred ones, it's fresh, put them down, whatever you want. Smell is very important, but let me give you a smell that's a universal smell that will help your brain to put you into a state of constant alpha. The scent that works very well is lavender. Lavender. You get anything that smells like lavender, it will put you in a nice, steep state. That's such a universal smell. You can get your own, anything that smells good to you, make you feel good, you can do that too. But if you want to get to something universal, you get lavender. Okay? Got that? All right. Next one, make your home a manifested machine, is organization. If your home 
is not organized. If your home is cluttered, have a lot of de have a lot of clutter stuff, so is your brain. Your brain is not going to be organized, efficient to manifest what you want. You're going to be going up, down, you're going to manifest weird, crazy stuff because your house is a reflection of what you manifest. So if your home is clutter, you better go in there and do a little organization because you want to show your mind that things are open and organized for you to bring in. You don't want to be in a combustible environment because all you're going to manifest is combustible events and situations. People don't know that. Now, once you have all these tools, go over them again because somebody will come in here. Make your home a powerful manifesting machine. The smell, get the lavender, money spray, money on the floor, scratches on the floor, the sound, the music, the ambiance, okay? The organization, all of that now creates all this effect on your brain. Okay? Now let me show what happens and how this process will create the manifestation for you. Now, if you go home every day and you're in your house a lot, that's going to create what's called a repetition. The brain cycles through different observation. So when you're at home a lot and your brain is seeing the same thing, that creates what we call neural pathways. You're in your brain, there are all these little highways of cells, dendrite, synapses, and they're all moving and they're all creating connections. And they do this through a process called neuroplasticity. Okay? So, how neuroplasticity works is the brain constantly seeing something over and over. If the brain sees something over and over, it actually creates a physical cellular structure that connects neurons and you have a new highway. The new highway now will create information and experiences together. I'll give an example of what that is. I'm going to show you something. If you're constantly in toxic relationships or you're in a lot of toxic stuff or you're hanging around with negative stuff, your brain is going to create a synaptic highway called neuroplasticity that is going to invite and attract toxic stuff to your life. You will always encounter toxic stuff in your life. Even if you consciously don't want to. You may say, man, I'm tired. I don't want to talk to these toxic people. I, I, I'm, I'm a, I don't want to date toxic people. But guess what? You always end up finding yourself in toxic relationships, toxic stuff. And you're wondering, like, what happened? Remember now, your logical mind is showing you you don't want to. But what? How come my logical mind is telling me I don't want to, but I'm still doing it? That's because you are not run by your logical mind. I keep telling you, you are run by the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind will overtake the logic. It will make you do what your conscious mind doesn't want to do. As a matter of fact, your subconscious mind is so powerful, it will make you do the thing you don't want to do, and you're consciously aware of you doing it, but you don't want to do it. That's how powerful the brain is. So, let's talk about this stuff in your home now. So once you get this going, what happens now, the brain sees this repetition day in, day out, night in, night out. You're going to create a new neural pathway. Now remember now, what's that called? Neuroplasticity, right? Okay, neuroplasticity, synaptic pruning. So now, once the brain develops that line, it's a clear message to the subconscious that says, this is a new map of reality subconscious now says so this is a new highway so this is what we got so what the subconscious does now it goes out into the field we call it the quantum field it brings situation events ideas to make you experience the very thing that is dominant in your home that's the secret to becoming a masterful deliberate creator make the place you live the place you want to manifest. Show your the place. Make the place you live. Show your place evidence. Show your place things that will get your brain into that relaxed state, into that state to see it every day, and it will manifest. And the beauty of all, all this, the beauty, the beauty of, of of how all of this work is even more profound, because once the brain gets hold of repetitive information, how it comes to you has also been set up. It means you literally 
never have to try to know how whatever it is you want is going to come into your life. Your brain sets that up in your subconscious. Subconscious already has the map to figure that out. So you want me to do a quick review because some of you are just coming in here right now. I'm going to show you again. You got to make your home a ritual and a routine to manifest. Make your home the most powerful manifesting machine. The following. You cannot have a cluttered home. If your home is cluttered, you're going to have a cluttered manifestation. Okay? Your house got to smell good. Smelling good invites thing. Lavender, the best scent. You got to show physical evidence, images on your house. Money on the floor, scratch off tickets, winning stuff. Your mind constantly sees that, it brings it in. Sound. Your home have to have sound that generates and puts you back into an alpha state. Most powerful sound, sounds of nature. Water, brain, birds, even subliminals. Have subliminals playing. All of those together will create new synaptic pruning. The brain now sees this as evidence of reality because it's a subconscious. So now when you leave your house and you go out, guess what? Those stuff don't leave you. They're still in your subconscious and they'll bring it into you. So, which one of those are you struggling with? So if you, if I mention any of those and you know like, man, I gotta get one of those, you gotta fix them. But if I have to pick one that I think more people aren't even aware of and that they do every day, is having cluttered home. Having your home unorganized. If your room is unorganized, if your house is unorganized, guys, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Your life is gonna be unorganized. Your manifestation is gonna be unorganized. They don't even teach you this in school. If your if your house is everything's all over the place, if you don't have if you don't know where your shoes is, if you don't know where your toothbrush is, if you gotta to dig too close to find something. You're going to dig through life to get success because you're teaching your brain, this is how I want my life to be. I got to look up and down and the brain says, I'm going to show you. So when you go outside and you think like, why are these weird trippy stuff happening to me? Why I get good stuff, bad stuff? Go look in your house. Go look in your home. Money on the floor, powerful. So these are just some tips that you can use right now that will get your brain into that state to manifest more abundance. So you see, the big picture guys, the big picture I want to show you, everything is about getting the brain into a certain state. When you feel relaxed, when you feel confident, when things feel non-threatening to you, your brain will bring more of those. And the things that I'm teaching and showing you are things that actually does that to your brain. It puts your brain in the alpha state. If you're in the alpha state, it's so much easier to turn on the theta state. You get in the theta state like nothing because your brain now learns I'm in alpha. So now if you have a stressful day outside at work, when, you look, when you're going home now, your brain automatically knows, oh, we're going home. It starts to activate alpha state because your brain remembers when we're going to my house, it's going to smell good. It's going to have subliminal. It's going to have nice tones it's gonna have evidence of what I want your brain now switches and then when you're home you're manifesting what you want it comes into you so now you get up and you go out the next day your world starts to change your life starts to change things start to happen for you all because you did that little tweak of organizing your home to make it a manifesting machine got it that's what I want to leave you guys with today and if you see that, now you can make it work. All right. See you guys again next time.